what if I told you you could get 50 times speed up with no change of code? I'm obviously using a GPU. So we're going to see how we can use NVIDIA's QML, which is on currently on version 25 with a very recent release from them. And we'll see that with scikit-learn, you can do just one line of code change and get this speed effect. So how this works is through classification, regression, clustering, all your usual tasks that you might do with scikit-learn and two other libraries that they support. It puts it through to CPU for the parts that are not yet completely supported in GPU, and then it sends everything that it can to the GPU. You can see that very nice flow here. You're using this QML.acel. This is the one line of code that you need to add. You execute your code, and then for third-party libraries that you're executing, it's going to call your you will call the scikit-learn estimators and other machine learning parts of it just like you did before, except now a decision is going to be made. If there, if it's supported in QML and it has, and a large portion of this has, it is going to run it through QML. Otherwise, it's just going to go back to the same old scikit-learn code just like it always did. And then even within these, portions of it could be executed still on the CPU or on the GPU, just trying to get you the fastest code execution. All right, let's see it in action. I'm just going to go ahead and run this in good old Google Colab. Even with a fairly modest GPU that Colab makes available, like the T4 GPU, you're going to get that tremendous speed boost. How big of a speed boost? Well, I just ran this, so you don't need to go go through the whole thing. You can see here that we're detecting the Tesla T4, and I'm gonna do a random forest classification. This is on a forest fire data set. You may have seen this before, I've used it before. It just predicts how different ground covers are likely to respond to forest fires and hopefully not get forest fires, but some, some factors do definitely contribute to that. Well, when we train the random forest classification using regular scikit-learn, you can see that it takes about two minutes and 10 seconds. That's using the CPU that Google Colab makes available to you. It's a two core CPU. Here is the one line of code that you need to add to support it. This is in a notebook, but if you're using regular code, you would make use of this line of code. This loads everything in that you need to make use of CUDA ML. Now when we run it, look at this. It's 3.7 seconds. I mean, that just chewed through this. And this is all still using normal scikit-learn code just like you've used before. This is an approach that I have used on a lot of installed scikit-learn code bases that we have just to get basically for free, at least free in terms of programmer time, speed bumps to let them complete orders of magnitude faster. Thank you for watching this video. If this was useful, please click like uh, and subscribe to the channel to see all my other projects on machine learning. You can find links in the description to download the latest QML and notebooks and everything you would need to get started with this amazing technology.